Guys, it's time for another Awakened Chaos Era video, and man, I would love to farm in this game more. If I only had more gems, I regret every single summon I did at the beginning of this game, because those could all be gems that I use to farm, which right now we're kind of stalled in, since, like I said, we have no gems. Although we do have some gems from the... we had maintenance, so we have 300 gems as uh, compensation. We do also have quite a lot... oh, I'm going to show you guys uh, a thing, I don't know... Some of you that have come from playing things like Rage of Destiny probably already know to do this, but if you're coming from Summoner's War, you probably don't know to do this. Uh, so we're gonna get we're gonna get some free summons, free summons, uh, which we'll talk about in a in a second. But I want to go over the patch notes. <laughs> I'm like, no, get to the summons. Get some screw patch notes. I don't have any of these dudes. Get to the summons. Uh, we have some hero balance adjustments, which was kind of out of nowhere. Curse effect cannot be dispelled now, nor can it be ex extended. I don't know if there was an issue with this. I haven't been paying attention to who's been using this, what's been going on. There's been some updates in Summoner's War, new units and things like that. So we've been uh, focusing a lot on that and then other stuff, whatever. Uh, this guy, uh, Gajar, which is a unit that I'm actually building right now. Modified Viper's uh, Potion from applying poison to all enemies to applying poison to the remaining enemies. Also, modified Venom Influx from... Redu oh, goodness, we have this issue again. Yeah, we have this issue again. I can't actually get out of that. Okay. Let's try this again. I would love to read this and, and not have the thing stick to the mouse. Uh, okay. So, let's try that again. Venom Influx from reducing the target's attack to reducing the target's resistance. So, if you want to put a whole bunch of debuffs... I mean, reducing attack, because you're going to use this guy on bosses anyway, because he's a, he's a poison unit. Um... Reducing attack is great for bosses. Reducing targets' resistance is great as well. So I see these both as being like take from one good thing that you'd want it for to another good thing that you'd want it for. Maybe it's better. Uh, we will see Blackhorn. I don't... This is the one from the the current... Uh, not the daily pack. What is it called? The current thing here is... Here's, here's, here's where it is. Here, here's where it is. The magic pass. This is this guy right here. He is a healer. I had to pause the video to look for the word I was looking for, like a torn from World of Warcraft. I don't play World of Warcraft, I never played World I played for a weekend, and then I decided if I kept playing that game, I was going to have no life, so I ha probably had to put it down so that I would still have a job. Uh, but yeah, he is the uh, he is the legendary from here, he's basically a healer. So, I don't know how how long we really should go over this, uh, this maintenance, this balance patch thing. There's balance patches on the bosses too, so it's just buffs for this guy. Uh, just makes him better just in general for things because I guess people were complaining they're like you know you, you you make us spend money it's not that much money for for the past but you know make us spend money for this unit and then he doesn't turn out to be really much better than the other options the other more uh, more free to play friendly options <laughs> free to play friendly lulls uh, Valyria lifesteal ratio has been increased to 35% uh, life sacrifice ratio has been reduced from 30 to 20% so just buffs for her Air optimization for Blackhorn, Yolanda, and Windstrex. Was Windstrex not doing the correct... I always see Windstrex doing the uh, the skill I would would have wanted her to do. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Uh, Mary changed the ability. Oh, this is... this is A, a lot of people were excited about Mary. I was excited about Mary. Uh, she's the paladin type unit. Uh, tax... Uh, <laughs> tax... <laughs> change the ability protector from grants all team members one stack of invincible for two turns to one turn. So a little bit of a nerf there. Uh, then we have Dungeon Adjustment from Roaring Tulpa, from Atch Magisteria. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. I really don't think that we need to go through all of this stuff. We really should go through all of this stuff, but to be honest, I'm not even farming some of these. I'm farming, like, a little bit of the dungeons, but we really don't have high-level teams. And if we don't have high-level teams, then I'm not going to go super hard on trying to get four-star gear where you just get five-star from uh, Adventure Mode anyway. Or from the shop as well, even though they're bad regardless. So, uh, I'm just trying to trying to upgrade my glyphs for thing. Well, we've been upgrading the glyphs quite a quite a significant amount, but then we'll we'll work on the because uh, the glyphs are finite. You're not gonna like replace the glyphs, so it's better to to do the glyphs now. Um, this way, it's a guaranteed stat boost instead of oh, we're gonna get this piece of five star gear and then we're gonna replace it by this other piece of five star gear or this doo-doo piece of six star gear and then we're gonna replace that by this other piece of six star gear and like farming the mid-level dungeons i'm like i'd rather have permanent stat boosts uh prioritize that over the the uh the gear for now we still do need to farm the gear we still have terrible 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 gear 
but uh, other adjustments, modified tavern scene is Christmas tavern. Christmas event will come next week. Optimize the rules for resetting the points in arena, uh, reducing the score drop for weekly resets and season resets. Damage that caused the target's max health percentage in the endless trial artifact and uh, effect was modified to the current health percentage damage. Uh, just the ability icons of Mary and Evelyn first on. Fixed all the gears in the arena store that can be purchased repeatedly. Oh, I didn't know that that could be purchased repeatedly. You can no longer receive the corresponding guild quest rewards repeatedly after changing the guild. The hero oh, I didn't know that that was uh, a thing. Okay. Hero rating function that appears after clearing Arcane Dominator will no longer pop up repeatedly. Reduce the trigger probability of party of three in Arcane Dungeon. Uh, and then the other ones are just like the boss things. But I don't think I know anyone um, that is really farming the... Like, well, there's people farming these... But I'm more I'm more excited about farming the uh, Ash Magisteria than uh, than anything else. But anyway, we have gems now. Very exciting. Let's do that. Uh, what do we have? Did we? I didn't. I don't even remember doing anything over here. Oh, we did uh, Ash Magisteria level seven. We still have. I'm sure we have. Yeah, I'm sure we already have that. Grant the shield. I'm sure we already have that as well. Uh, and then I'm trying to see what uh, we're finding. Okay. Generally, uh, these will give you kind of helpful tips on like how to beat the boss it's like oh if you want to farm ash magistera 10 here's some here's some little hints and pointers and things like that put a shield on your units uh make sure that you have a water team make sure that you have things that remove bombs etc 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 so uh or the same thing with the tulpa like make sure that you have attack power break on the boss make sure that you have units that do all these different uh these different skills so that's always good to pay attention to these things because they basically give you all the information you need to know. What do we have for these quests? What do we do today that I didn't click on yet? We got all these things to click on. It's very exciting. Oh my god, guys. I was looking at Abaddon again. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. His basic attack. Just his basic attack alone. Is, is, uh, his basic attack. And then his ultimate as well. Uh, so Abaddon, if you guys don't know. Abaddon is the thing that we get from Arena... Sh yeah, Arena Shop. So weekly limit... Synthesis for Abaddon. Let's go take a look at Abaddon. He's a ridiculous unit. But yeah, do your arena, guys. <laughs> do your arena, because that unit is crazy. He is in Soul Plunders. He is in Soul Plunders. Okay, so he's an LD, uh, LD Legendary. Sorry. LD Legendary unit. Uh, let's take a look at his skills. He's got this skill. Soul Reaper trait. Attacks reduce all cooldowns by one turn per negative effect on the target. Attacks deal bonus damage based on the number of negative effects on the target. So the, the great thing about this, the great thing about this is that his, his first skill, his basic ability, launches four attacks against random enemies, each inflicting a 30% damage and random stats down for two turns. So when you apply this to like one unit, like a boss unit, that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. He's got S, uh, S tier attack. He's got uh, A tier crit rate. He's just a big damage dealing single target. Actually, he's not single target. He's got an AoE here. He's got an AoE 100% uh, damage to all enemies while healing. Healing strength scales with the number of negative effects affecting targets. Uh, and then he has this one. This is just adds insult to injury because he does all those uh, harmful effects. And then 250% damage to an enemy prolongs any stat reduction effects on the target by one turn. He does all these debuffs. He's great for bosses. He does all these debuffs, and then he does this big, uh, big massive damage here. Look at this damage increase by 20, 20, 20. Cooldown reduced by one turn, one turn. And then also he cooldown, he he decreases his cooldowns for, with this Soul Reaper trade. He's ridiculous. This is a ridiculous unit. We need to get this guy. We need to get this guy. He's ridiculous. We need to get him. Okay, and he is a unit that you can just get from the arena. He's really he's crazy, crazy unit. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I was looking at them like crazy. Uh, so, we're going to try to summon things to get him. So, what we're going to do is we're going to summon all of these normal stuff. I know you can't get him from normal summons. I am aware. We're going to summon these. And I will explain why we're summoning all of these. Uh, we'll summon these in the meantime. I'll, I'll do a little time lapse. And it's not a time lapse. I'll just cut to the next scene. And then 
I'll explain a little bit. Hey, we got a Hulans. Um, I'll explain more about why we're doing this. We went through all of our normal summons. Every time we do those normal summons, I'm always hoping for Zachary. We never get Zachary. But the point of that is not to try to get Zachary as much as I think that the point of that is to try to get Zachary. The point of that is to actually do this hero banishment. So if you've played other games, you're familiar, or other games, like other those Chinese uh, idol games, this is a thing in Chinese idol games. Uh, if you're coming from Summoner's War, and things like that, you may not be familiar with this. Right now, we're just getting gold from here. Not very exciting. We have to do these ten at a time. Uh, but as soon as we get to these, we get these little... What are these actually called? Hero Essence. Hero Essence Currency. So we're going to keep doing these until we get... Oh, I don't want to do the two stars. Yeah, I don't want to do the two stars. So we'll just do the one stars. And then as soon as we get to the two stars... We will just leave the two stars alone. Right, right. All right. So we'll banish these, and then we have all the- We actually need it! I need more! I need more of these. So I actually will do some two stars. I hate that we're doing two stars, but we're gonna do two stars at least until we get- We'll do another seven. Right? That's not seven, that's eight. That's not- I, I'm, I'm not good with math, guys. Okay, so then we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to this guy. We're going to go to the Hero Essence Shop, and we're gonna just go ham on- Go ham. We're going to get five. We're going to get five advanced summoning crystals just from doing that. So. Or we, I mean, we had some already. This, this wasn't just five from, from doing those. But also, remember, there's the uh, advanced hero essence as well. But then you have to trade in more valuable, more rare units. I don't really like trading in more valuable, more rare units. But I don't mind getting these. I don't think that this is really a great value to do these uh, wood summoning and fire summoning and things like that. Ancient summoning is a different story, but still, I don't think that you should be trading your, your more rare units. I think that it's perfectly fine to trade in uh, for these... Um, what, are they call what are they called again? The, just the regular hero essence. Okay. It's just regular. Why do I keep thinking that they're called something crazy? But... Um, yeah, I think it's perfectly fine to trade in uh, to trade in those. So we got what seven total. It's nothing too exciting, but maybe we get a Zach, or maybe we get some skills for things that we need. I'm really just hoping for skill ups more than anything else. Oh, this is actually something. Okay, let's see what we get. Or units that are for hero synthesis. So we'll see if we get units for hero synthesis, and then I'm gonna go back to farming because hey, Scarlet, we have Scarlet, but at least. Maybe we should scale up Scarlet if we have so many, uh, or, or build Scarlet if we have so many Scarlets, right? There is something to be said for building units that you have a lot of skill ups for, because then you may have a better experience, because you could actually make more use of them instead of being like, oh, I built this unit, but I have no skills for it. So, and Marion, I don't really care too much about her. And then this last one is we still... <laughs> How do we still not have Zachary skills? We also do have... The pity is increasing, guys. The pity is increasing. I think that's it for this one, though, guys. I think that's it. Basically, for the most part, uh, the shop is just... You know, the shop is the shop. We There's all these things still unpurchased here, so there is, there is that. Uh, actually, you know what I should do? I should trade these in. This is from the beta. I should trade those in for some gems, because we didn't have gems, and I had to stop farming because we didn't have gems. So... Now we have, uh, now we have gems. Or now we, we, we have those. Did I really not? <gasps> I really didn't finish this event. Okay, how did I not finish the event? Crazy. All right, uh, here's some mini event, which we have, hey, we get some stuff here. I'll take these meal coupons. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We get, oh, five-star gear. Five-star gear, what is it? Okay, well. Hopefully, we get some good stuff there, or some usable stuff. Probably not. But anyway, that's it for this one. Just wanted to do another quick Awaken... It's probably not quick. Uh, another Awaken Chaos Era video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we get... Oh, we have another summon. I mean, not this one. We have another uh, one of these. There we go. Oh, please stop giving me the unit. Please. I don't want any more of her. I don't want any more. We should probably use our arena tickets. At some point. Probably. I don't know if we will, but probably. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoy. I will see you as always. Hope you guys are having fun with the game. Hope you guys are farming more than me and building more fun stuff than me. We have another six star to do. I haven't decided what I want to do yet. I'm procrastinating. I know. That's my fault. Anyway, that's it for this one. See you guys as always in the next one.